Good afternoon. In this second series of savings and ways of saving, we want to look at the meaning of bank, types of bank, problems and solution of keeping money and valuables in the bank. Now, it is necessary for us to know the meaning of bank. A bank is a financial institution established for safekeeping of money, valuables, and provision of other financial services. We don't only keep money in the bank. We can keep other valuables, like our jewelries, our certificate for safety. So this is what bank can render, the services banks can render to an individual. Then it is necessary for us to know the meaning of, I mean, types of banks. We have different types of bank. The first type of bank is the central bank. The central bank is a bank that controls the activities of all other banks in the country. The central bank has as government bank. It uses out currencies, controls interest rates, grants loan to other banks, and acts as controller of all other banks. So central banks control every other bank in Nigeria. The second type of bank is the commercial banks. Commercial banks include all banks that deal directly with individuals. They are in safekeeping of money, valuables, and important documents. For example, we have different commercial banks in Nigeria, like Zene Bank, GT Bank, First Bank, United Bank for Africa, which is known as UBA, and so many others. All macrofinance banks also fall under commercial banks. Then the next type of bank that we have, we have development banks. These are specialized banks set up by the government for certain reasons. An example is Bank of Industry. They are owned and controlled by the government. This bank is majorly for government. Maybe government have a project, so they make use of development banks. Then this will take us to advantages of keep money in bank. It is necessary for us to know why we need to keep money in the bank. What do we stand to benefit? The first one is access to loan facilities. Once you have a savings account and you have been saving, you have opportunity to access for loan. The second benefit is that it prevents risk of theft or loss. Your money is safe in the bank. So you will not have that you know, challenges of maybe your money is missing or what have you. Customers enjoy privacy. You know, whatever you have in your bank account is known by you. So, and your financial accountant will take care of your incomes without causing any trouble. It, it is also easy withdrawal. So you can, e you can easily withdraw your money anytime you need it. You can go to the bank, you can use your ATM to withdraw, or you can even use your mobile app to send money to wherever you want to send money to. Customer receive interest. You know, once you have a savings account, you are entitled for interest. So monthly, certain percentage of money will be increasing in your bank account. It also prevents reckless spending. It will not make you to spend your money anyhow because your money is in the bank. But we have some problems or disadvantages of keeping money in the bank. One of the problems is that bank requirements for opening account. If you are not a patient type, you may find it difficult to open an account because there are some requirements that you must meet for you to be able to open the account. Then type time needed to de deposit and withdraw cash. You see, when you save your money in the bank and you need it, you need to go there and make withdrawal. So if you don't create time, then you may have problem. Then there's also problem associated with ATM. Sometimes there might not be money in the ATM. These are one of the problems that may discourage people from running a bank or keeping money in the bank. Problem of computer and networking. Sometimes the network may not be stable, may not be okay. Also, there might be fraud. Maybe some of the officials 
they can, you know, f commit fraud by trying to embezzle people's money. Then they may experience robbery and also illiteracy. So these are problems that people face in keeping money in the bank. Now, what are the solutions to the problem of saving money in banks? Number one, there is need for public enlightenment. People need to be enlightened, educated, to see the advantage of keeping money in the bank. Also, we must be patient and we must have that endurance spirit so that anytime you want to make withdrawal, you must pay attention, you must sacrifice time. Then there is need for creation of more branches. We don't have enough banks in Nigeria because in some areas, before you can make a withdrawal, you may need to take a cab, you may need to, you know, take a transportation from your area to where the bank is located. So if they can bring a bank close to you, it will also solve some of these problems. Constant maintenance of gadgets. So banks officials need to constantly maintain their facilities to be able to render good services. Constant training of staff. There is need that staff should be trained timely. Say for, for example, three months, six months, so they need to be trained. Steep punishment for bank fraudsters. So those fraudsters, they need to deal with them. It, when they deal with them, it will serve as a punishment and detriment for others not to involve themselves in any fraudulent activities. With this, I want to believe that we have been able to create that culture of savings in our students. So if you have not been saving before, it is necessary and good for you to start saving part of your earning. Don't just wait because of your future so that you can have a bright future. Thank you for listening. Watch out for the next topic.